Okay, because typically you use bond for capital expenses and that's mm -hmm. what our financial consultant's looking at. Not for essentially operating costs, but for capital. Uh, I, I would just like to make a statement that, I, you know, I think we're in a position that many <coughs> other municipalities in the area are probably pretty envious of. We're going to have a balanced budget for the first time in three years here. Uh, we're going to increase our capital reserve by about three, uh, three mil $300,000. What's, what's the exact amount? Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, from 10% to 13%. Right. Yeah. I've had three in my head. Um, I, I think that we were proactive, and I appreciate you coming on board with us and, and forecasting some of the things we needed to do and the combination of, of really cutting back expenses wherever we could and looking at some uh, revenue enhancements has at least in the short term kept us uh, solvent uh, and, and I think in an enviable position with many municipalities in the area. I read every day where municipalities that haven't taken these proactive steps are laying off persons and, and eliminating firefighters and police officers and, and we have to date have not had to do that. Now this, I, I want to reiterate to the people out there that think that maybe we're, 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 we're solvent and we are uh, riding the high road. We have some very, very serious issues in the long term. And uh, short term, we, we got by this year. But I think long term, we're going to have to continue to make some very, very serious decisions um, as to how we are going to keep this uh, balanced budget. Uh, and we're going to have to continue discussions at budget time, talk with our consultants, talk with our community, and I think we're going to have to take some looks at, at what services we may need to eliminate in the future uh, if our revenue uh, streams as we see them today don't continue. So uh, I think that uh, to, to, to change courses in the middle of the stream at this point in time I think would be fiscally irresponsible for this community. We need to continue the services at the level they are. That doesn't mean that we won't continue to look at this, we won't continue to analyze this, and, uh, and work with our finance advisory committee, our, uh, our consultants, uh, as well as our staff, and give citizen input to make sure that we can stay as solvent as we can in these hard, these dif difficult times. Thank you. Anybody else have a yes? Well, um, in response to what's been said, I, I, you know, I, I just think it's important that as we move on, we continue to reexamine this, as you mentioned. And I think it's important for us to explore alternatives to keeping the sales tax currently where it's at. You know, with the uh, you know the cumulative sales tax rate being 10% for a community of our size, it's fairly high. But nonetheless, absent a final report from you know our, our fourth quarter last year, in addition to alternatives in the financial advisory committee, I don't think I'd be necessarily comfortable reaching a decision. At the same point, if we were to vote in favor of this or rescission, it would and it were to pass community as a whole, it would come back at a council meeting where we could then allow public comment. Is that correct? Correct. So, just th throwing it out there. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we were given three alternatives <coughs> uh, to retain the uh, sales tax and allow revenues to continue to repeal it at this point in time or to postpone a decision for further discussion. Do I hear a motion for any of those three to uh, be brought to the floor here for a vote, Mr. Karaczynski? I'd make a motion to postpone it and uh, bring it back at the budget uh, hearing and so forth. Second. Any discussion on that? What, what date do you presume to bring it back? During the budget uh, discussions, during the budget cycle. That'll probably be the first meeting in May. First meeting in May? Do you want to say we'll discuss this fine. at the first meeting in May? That'd be fine. And during a budget, during a budget meeting? It's part of the budget process. Okay. I think we need that comprehensive view. Uh, I think we all need to be looking at the entire picture before we, we start to make one-off decisions on this. So. I would, I would see it as part of the comprehensive review of the budget. That would be my recommendation. Other comments? I, I would concur with that. I, particularly looking at the long range, I know there's been a lot of information provided <laughs> at last budget time as well as during the course of the year here on our, our financial status and we've looked not just at the current year but out uh, three, four, five years and we need to keep that in mind, particularly when our uh, revenues are basically flat and our expenditures continue to grow at maybe five to six a year. Obviously, there's some difficult times ahead of us. And it's, we may be a little flush this year, but things, uh, as I recall, are not looking too rosy in the future. So we need to keep that in mind as well. Yeah, thank you for reiterating that. The future doesn't look as rosy as the next 60 to 90 days. <laughs>
Okay, uh, all those in favor of uh, postponing this and bringing it back at discussion during our uh, budget time, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Aye. aye. Okay, thank you for the discussion. Thank you for bringing this out into so the public so that they can be aware of this. W was that an amendment that was proposed? Now we got to uh, discuss what we're going to actually do, or? No, I meant that was the motion. Just the postponement. It was one of the three alternatives. Okay. To be brought back. To be brought back at budget time. That's what I heard. Okay, uh, the next consideration is a consideration of a request for.